All right, this is the Unit 20 Part 4 video lesson over nutrient cycles. In this video, we're going to be discussing the carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle. So you need to make sure you have both the carbon cycle and nitrogen cycle interactive notebooking activities cut out and ready to be filled in. You're going to fill in those blanks as we go through the video. Um, make sure you stop and pause the video anytime you need to and rewind and rewatch any parts that you may have missed. All right, so let's get started. Start things off, we're going to start with the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle is an important element in ecosystems. Okay, um, because it makes up mo almost 80% of Earth's air. So 80% of Earth's atmosphere is actually made up of nitrogen. And we need nitrogen, all living organisms need nitrogen because we have to have it to make proteins. Remember, nitrogen is an important um, ingredient in amino acids, and when we put amino acids together, we make proteins. So we have to have nitrogen. However, atmospheric nitrogen cannot be used by living things, so we have to, be, we have to convert it into a usable form that living things can actually use. So this is where the nitrogen cycle actually comes in. So the nitrogen cycle is the movement of nitrogen the food chain from simple inorganic, remember inorganic means not living, not made from living things, um, so that's anything that does not contain carbon. So we're going, or we're going through the food chain from simple inorganic compounds and we're turning those into complex organic compounds like proteins that living things are going to need in order to be able to survive. All right, so um, let's get skip a slide there. All right, here is our picture of our nitrogen cycle of what's kind of going on. We're going to number these as we um, go through the video. Um, so the first one is, is says blank, and um, this is actually going to be nitrogen fixation. So our first part of our nitrogen cycle is nitrogen. fixation. Right, so this is the process of when we convert atmospheric nitrogen, which be, would be the nitrogen in the air, from into into ammonia, which is NH3. Okay, so this is actually going to have two different steps. So our first step is going to be in up here by our cloud. This is 1A. So you have these little pieces you can cut out and glue in the squares, or you can just fill this in like this, like I'm doing. Either way is fine. Um, so in 1A, what's happening is our atmospheric um, nitrogen is going to be converted into what we call nitrates as we have different types of precipitation happening and those get that ends up into the soil. So like a light, like a thunderstorm, things like that, convert that atmospheric nitrogen and actually um, get it down into the soil. Right? So that's the first step. The second step is that we have nitrogen fixing bacteria. Okay, these guys, I want you to highlight this part. These guys are crucial. Um, so they're going to be done here, 1B. These are going to have to be able to convert that um, ammonia uh, that into, into ammonia. So it actually converts it into a usable form that plants can use. Okay, so plants require nitrogen as one of the nutrients to be able to grow. Um, and we, we know that plants are producers, so all living things rely on plants being present so that we have things to eat. Um, and so the bacteria in the soil, when they convert this nitrogen into a usable form, um, they allow the plants to get the nutrients they need to be able to grow and produce food for other organisms. So that is very important. If you remove the nitrogen-fixing bacteria, then you're going to disrupt this entire cycle. All right. The second part of the nitrogen cycle is, all right, the, the second step is actually going to be um, ammonification. And these are kind of a little bit, these are not in the order that I would prefer it to be in. So, but ammonification is going to be when we have animals dying. So here is going to be number two. Actually, no, that's not going to be number two. Number two is going to be right here. 
So you can see we have our dead cow and we have some waste being excreted from a cow. As those things go back into the soil and are broken down by decomposers, the nitrogen in those items are going to be returned back into the soil in the form of ammonia, again, that plants are going to be able to use. All right, so number three actually comes before number two. Um, number three is going to be nitrification. Nitrification, this is going to be number two right here. So nitrification is when these bac the bacteria in the soil are converting it in from ammonia into the nitrates that the plants are going to be using. <clears throat> All right, and the fourth step is actually going to be assimilation. And this is going to be when the nitrates are taken up by the plants through the roots, and we use those to make the proteins in the plants. Um, and then when animals eat the plants, the plants use those proteins to make more proteins of their own. So this um, would be number four, would be right here. We can see the nitrates going into the plants. All right, and so the last step of the nitrogen cycle is going to be denitrification. Oops. So denitrification. Let's see. Denitrification is going to be right here, number five. Um, so denitrification is whenever we have different types of bacteria that are going to take those nitrates that are in the soil and convert them back into nitrogen gas, which is going to be released back into the atmosphere. Right, so this is going to mean this continues the cycle. So then we would um, have nitrification occur to get the nitrogen back into the soil, all of these different processes, and then eventually the nitrogen goes back into the atmosphere. So this is um, a cycle, it happens continuously, and we, this is a necessary nutrient cycle so that living organisms can live and thrive on the earth. All right, so that concludes the nitrogen cycle. Let's go ahead and move on to our carbon cycle. So you need to flip over to that part of the, that interactive note baking activity. So our carbon cycle. Our carbon cycle. All right, so this cycle is critical to all ecosystems. As it is a part of... biomolecules, all right? So all living things are made of carbon. Remember, carbon um, is an organic molecule. So this includes proteins, fats, nucleic acids, and carbon carbohydrates, and they're all going to be recycled in the carbon cycle. All right, so this is how we are taking living or once living matter and recycling it back through the different ecosystems. So let's get started. All right, so the first part of our carbon cycle is actually going to be combustion. So combustion is when carbon is going to, is re actually released into the atmosphere, but when we burn fossil fuels. So this includes like heating our home or driving cars. Those things are releasing that carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So number one is gonna be up here above the house. This can be, again, you can either cut those little squares or you can just number it like I'm doing here on the video. So the first one is combustion. The second one, the second part of our carbon um, cycle is when carbon is absorbed by producers and autotrophs to make their own food. And so this is um, going to be, number two will be photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is when we are going to be absorbing the carbon dioxide from the air. So we had number one above the house, number two is over here in our tree, because our tree is absorbing that carbon dioxide in order to do photosynthesis. All right, next, number three is when carbon compounds are passed to herbivores, when they feed on photosynthetic plants, and then these compounds are then passed up the food chain when herbivores are eaten. So this is called consumption. So when herbivores or plant-eating organisms eat plants, they are consuming the plants, and this means 
that carbon that was in that plant is now being transferred into that organism. So we had number one above the house, number two in our tree, and number three is over here because our cow is eating the grass. Right, number four, it says a byproduct of consumption of its energy creation in carbon dioxide waste. Right? Um, carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere through cellular respiration and is used by plants during photosynthesis. So number four is going to be cellular respiration. So we spent unit 18 talking about photosynthesis and unit 19 talking about cellular respiration. Okay, remember that those two are the opposites of each other. Photosynthesis creates the reactants needed for cellular respiration, and then the, uh, the products of cellular respiration then are, become the reactants for photosynthesis. So we have number one above the house for, for combustion. Number two is photosynthesis in the tree. Number three is the cow eating the grass, which is consumption. Number four is the cow exhaling the carbon dioxide as a product of cellular respiration. All right? Now, the very last um, source of carbon in the carbon cycle is actually going to be decomposition. So we have de um, decomposers that break down um, the carbon when organisms die. So when organisms die, the decomposers in the soil actually break down those organisms, return that carbon back into the soil, and those are going to turn into fossil fuels that we can use for combustion in the future. All right, that's where we get oil from. Oil is an example of a fossil fuel. So we had one is combustion above the house, two is photosynthesis in the tree, three was consumption with the cow, four represents cellular respiration as the cow breaks down the food from the plant and exhales carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere, and five is our frog down here who has sadly passed away and is going to be um, broken down by decomposers so that the carbon that it contains is returned back into the soil and then can be cycled back into combustion later on. So this is the carbon cycle and this is a yet another crucial cycle in making sure that all living organisms on earth are able to live and thrive and survive. Make sure you have, at this point, you should have all the blanks filled in on your interactive notebooking, both the nitrogen cycle and the carbon cycle. Um, when, once you have those glued in and completed, make sure you get this checked off and um, also make sure you submit the, the question at the end of the video.